Hey everybody, thanks again for tuning in here for Team Bowens. I'm Tony Corbell. And the question that we want to talk about this week came in from Olivia in San Francisco. And she says, could Tony please explain the difference between high-key and low-key lighting? Uh, boy, what, what great timing for a question like that and something that I think is something we need to talk about. Um, so there will be a blog post all about high-key and low-key uh, light quality. So Olivia, thanks for the question. But in a nutshell, let me give it to you like this. For me, the tonality and light quality on a subject's face really doesn't have much to do whether it's a high key or a low key. There can be high contrast and low contrast with a lot of shadow or little shadow. So it's a you know flat light quality on a face, a two to one ratio or an eight to one ratio. But for me, high key and low key has all the, everything to do about the clothing of a subjects and the background of our subjects. So in a high key situation, a traditional high key is a, is a white background and your clients are wearing light, light toned clothing. Uh, white background, people make a big deal out of the difficulty of, of making a white piece of paper go white. Well, <laughs> for me, I don't understand that. It's white. It's already white. Uh, so it's really kind of an easy thing to me to, to make a white piece of paper go white. Um, and we'll talk about that. And, and in fact, we'll probably do a, a webinar soon on that exact same topic here at Bowens. Uh, you know, the, the keeping that clean, crisp, white high key is pretty important for a lot of photographers and especially children's photographers. Uh, little kids look great on a white background. There's a lot of snap and sparkle and excitement and it just looks great. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the, the traditional master's portraits were generally low key. And they were usually a little bit more thought-provoking, a little bit more dramatic, a little bit uh, higher ratio from highlight side of a face to a shadow side of a face. And all of that seemed to lend itself better to a lower key, a darker, more moody photograph. Uh, so thanks for the question, Olivia. And we're going to go into uh, much more in depth on a blog post, which you'll be seeing soon, as well as a webinar that we'll do. Folks, again, thanks for joining us, and we appreciate you. Again, go to our teambowens.com to get our blog posts. At that location, you'll be able to type in a question, and you'll see that we'll get right back to them. You can also sign up to receive regular uh, emails that let you know when we've posted a new blog, uh, blog post. Uh, and also, don't forget to check us out here at YouTube at our Bowens TV uh, channel so you can see all the stuff that we're doing, all the archives of all of our webinars, the video answers to these questions, as well as any of the educational videos we'll be producing coming up in the future. So thanks again for joining us, everybody. On behalf of Bowens, I'm Tony Corbell.